All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back. It's the first Malsberg panel of the year. And joining us on said panel is Democratic political consultant and political strategist at Doug Schoen, LLC. Jessica Tarlov is here and host of the uh, syndicated Roger Hedgecock radio show, The Roger Hedgecock Show, Roger Hedgecock. And uh, let me uh, start with both of you. Um, Happy New Year. And uh, I start with this because the mayor of New York just finished uh, addressing um, some police brass and uh, the media. And uh, what he did was he touted the uh, crime stats for 2014 and how they've you know, improved and what a great, uh, this is the world's greatest police department. But a lot of people thought that the mayor would have taken this opportunity to do what uh, our previous guest, uh, two segments ago anyway, the head of the Sergeant's Benevolent Association had asked him to do, and that was to apologize for those very divisive remarks that he made about his son uh, being in danger from NYPD. Uh, but that, that just isn't happening, and I don't think it's ever going to happen, Roger. No, it is not going to happen because uh, William Wilhelm is, uh, Warren Wilhelm is, uh, a.k.a. Bill de Blasio, is actually a dyed-in-the-wool Nicaragua Sandinista communist. He is opposed to the police. He's opposed to the entire idea of policing. He's opposed to the entire idea of policing until he gets control of the police, and then it's going to be a repressive regime for sure. But you look at those black protesters in those diners yesterday in Manhattan, disrupting people's brunch, screaming about uh, white prejudice, and disrupting and, and making white people, they said a white woman cried as if that was one of their big goals and objectives. Th th listen, Obama and de Blasio and Al Sharpton, they want a race war and they're likely to get one. What about it, Jessica? Well, wow. Okay, so that was a lot. Um, I disagree with the, ca uh, the characterization of uh, de Blasio that was just offered. I do not think that he's handled the situation well, and I think that there is an apology that is due. I think you should never be with Al Sharpton in times like these. But at the same time, to say that he hates the police, I mean, you, you don't put Bill Bratton in charge of the police force if you don't... Uh, if you don't believe in it, if you don't believe in the principles behind it. And I mean, Bill Bratton created the NYPD that we had under Ray Kelly as well. And I, I think you're really going too far there. We, we are on the heels or maybe heading into more of a race war than I think that we expected. Um, but I think that we have to give de Blasio a little bit of slack on this. And uh, maybe you're not going to get the apology that you want, but this is not a man who wants the city falling apart. Look at the de Blasio lie, uh, Steve, is this, that he had to counsel his son because his son is black, that he's going to have to be careful because the police, the police, all of them, are going to be after him as a black man. That's what he specifically I, ought to take back, and he ought to apologize. And Jessica, he should apologize for that. That is a blatant racist smear against the police department. I, I, I think yeah, what goes Jessica, on... Jessica, there's two separate... Okay. Go Sorry, go ahead, Steve. I no, no, I was just going to say uh, the media is trying and the people on the left are trying to, you know, put, merge these two things together. Uh, it's fine to say I had a talk with my son and told him to right. respect the police. But what he said is my police force has been racist for decades and I'm afraid for my son at the hands of my police force. Right. I don't think those were his exact words. I mean, I, I'm that not going to deny that. That's it was what he said. I if that's like the if that's the exact quote, that's not what I heard that it was. But I, I don't doubt the fact that he had that conversation and that it had racial undertones. But we do know that there have been issues with the police department before, and I mean we're on high alert at this point. I'm not justifying it. I'm just saying that things are only going to get worse unless everyone on both sides calms down. And I'm not saying that De Blasio shouldn't apologize, but I think that uh, conversations like this and using incendiary language like we're used at the top of the program is not helpful to getting to a peaceful resolution and reconciliation in New York well, and across the country. let's start with reconciliation. Let's start with reconciliation with the Communist Party, the Nation of Islam, the Black Panthers, and all the rest of these agitator groups who've come in to exploit this situation and turn it into a race war with the blessing of Al Sharpton, who sits at the right hand of de Blasio, who sits at the right hand of Obama at the White House for 59 times in the last six months. This, these things are facts, Jessica. I, I'm not an Al Sharpton supporter. I don't know if you heard that. If you did, it's not true. But, but, I, the, I, but the mayor yeah. is, and the president is, and the attorney general is. And that's exactly. the problem. Exactly. Okay, I, All right, I, we're going to come really... back, guys. All right, Jessica and Roger, stay where you are. We have another. I mean, 
So um, a funny thing happened to Jessica while she was on the uh, Mike Huckabee show uh, over the weekend. We'll tell you what it was, and we'll talk about Mike Huckabee's future and more. Don't go away.